Good morning, Holy Trinity family. Happy to be with you again for our informal videos here. I'm going to ask for your help with something this morning. Um, for those of you who have back and been back at church, you've seen our numbers gradually increase, which is immensely gratifying, especially after where we've been for the last 16 or 17 months. I need your help in being alert to those who are not back yet. Um, yesterday, as we were gathering for, for Mass, just to have that community experience once again of a large group of people coming together worshiping God reminded me forcefully how different it is to worship in a group like that versus worshiping alone and how important it is that we don't try to just do this alone. Um, God has actually called us to do this in community. Certainly there's a place for private prayer, for private devotions, um, and that is a huge part of our lives as followers of Jesus and, not but, and the need for us to gather together in common worship is, is immensely important, um, obviously to God, but also to us for our well-being. So my guess is we have a number of different things going on within the community. Um, we have those obviously who should be home because they're, they have serious health issues and they shouldn't be out regardless, and there's, there's too much risk. We also have those who are living in a kind of fear and I think one of the, the negative things about COVID is, um, especially if you follow a lot of news, is it, it built a level of fear in a lot of people that is an unhealthy fear. It's the fear that somehow um, life is out to get us all the time. It, the reality is our lives are always vulnerable, are always fragile. Um, anyone who drives on the road has learned to take a certain risk and know that that's simply just part of being alive. Um, living in a world with germs and viruses is simply part of being alive. And for us to shut down in fear is not of God. It simply is not of God. So um, concern for that piece um, and a welcome to those of you who, um, who've gotten caught into that. Turn that over to God. Ask for his help. Um, invite his help. Pray for healing from that. That kind of fear is not from God and it's not healthy and it's not living the robust full lives that our Lord wants for each of us. We also have some people who've just gotten too comfortable uh, at home. It's easy, it's easy. You know, you can set your own time for watching mass on TV if you're still doing that, which I would find really difficult, frankly. Um, you can have the animals there, you can be drinking your coffee, you can get up and go to the bathroom. If you're bored, you can fast forward through the sermon, um, all of that stuff. Again, that's not what our Catholic worship is about. There's something physical about authentic Catholic worship. Receiving the Eucharist for sure, which is very physical, but also being physically present to other people in the community. And I guess what concerns me most is there's a group of people who have just drifted away. This has been a long enough time to break habits, big time. Um, and we have people who are simply are not, going, not doing anything faith-wise anymore. And boy, is that dangerous in a highly secularized world where we need the focus of hearing God's word as a community, of being together with other believing people, of fellowship in that way. So the help I need from you, be alert. People that you used to sit with at church, family members that you know are no longer coming to church or you haven't seen at church, please reach out. I can't do it all. I'm just one person. Our staff can't do it all. We're all doing the, all that we can to continue to help our parish be this vibrant, welcoming community that we are. But all of you need to be praying. Please be praying daily for the grace to know who you can invite back. Ask someone to come with you. Um, find out what's going on in their life if you haven't seen them. Um, let's help rebuild this community uh, in the way that God wants it to be so that we can honor God fully in our lives. God bless you all, and God bless our parish.